Good morning, folks. You'll remember our previous earthquake watch, which peaked with a 7-pointer in Guam, later downgraded to 6.7. Then seismicity went quiet, and we'll pick up with the next watch that began a few days ago. Last night's video, we noticed a destabilization to the opening that could hold off the earthquake ramp an extra 24 hours or so. Corona hole that stole focus from the northern leader will be earth-facing today be relevant for a few. We saw that the northern coronal hole destabilized. What about the current hole cresting earth facing position now? Eswa shows moderate to strong force with the strongest appearing to align with our September 24th position tomorrow. In the evening news at suspiciousobservers.org, the earthquake index had been rising and rising, finally peaking as the 23rd became the 24th. In midday on the 24th, we got our first six pointer since the Guam quake striking Argentina. And I'd like to credit Hook Echo with noticing a simultaneous ionosphere energy nearly directly above the earthquake area. We also took a six-pointer in the Solomon Islands this morning, and we've got a slight uptick beginning in Pakistan. We've had only some moderate sea flares since the M2 blast two nights ago. Cactus appears to show much of that CME missing Earth behind our orbit, and Noah's Enlil spiral confirms that apparent trajectory a miss. Solar wind is taking its sweet time calming down all the way and magnetic instability does continue at Earth. The aim here is to look north of the current sunspots. Look at how fast this grouping develops. Right now there's a beastly sunspot group on the north that did not exist yesterday. The rapidly developing bright umbral fields from those spots look incredible in 171 angstroms. The grouping already has at least beta complexity and is morphing quickly. The south is building magnetic mixing a bit east of the previous flaring zone. From the advanced reading section, we begin with a paper explaining why natural climate variability is responsible for the hot west coast of the U.S. rather than anthropogenic climate change, interesting especially because the rest of the country has seen cooling the last few years. Someone calls Stephen Crothers. Looks like we've got another source explaining why black holes do not exist. We've also linked a paper on how space weather has negatively affected communications on the battlefield. And finally, groundwater chemistry changes before earthquakes. It's one of the earthquake pre-signals noted in our diligence for the paper we're writing on the statistical correlation proving the sun triggers large earthquakes. And while that paper is underway, you can read our press release on the study performed Anyone capable of using R code can begin the peer review process early as we've pre-published it in the manuscript appendices. Let's see how well you've been watching the news. Try to make your own forecast using the following visuals, followed by some shots of our star to close at 6.15 a.m. Eastern Time, 4.15 a.m. Mountain Time. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.